It's time for a new edition of a segment that we launched just last month on the Sunrise Show. The segment is called What to Do with Her and Me, but it sounds better when we say What to Do with China and Drew. Yes, so this is where we visit towns and neighborhoods all around the area, and you tell us what to do when we get there. Next stop on the China and Drew tour is, I'll give you the honors. Newburgh! <laughs> <laughs> what to do with China and Drew. In Newburgh! First stop today, Bells Up Winery. A dedicated Sunrise viewer named Willie Huey said to check this place out. They're one of the little guys out here in Newburgh's wine country, offering private, winemaker-hosted tastings for one group at a time. And there's Dave, the winemaker himself, pulling the wine straight out of the barrel for us. So this is a 2021 Jupiter Pinot Noir. Next stop, downtown. So this is it, downtown Newburgh, hanging out along First Street. Where are we going now? Good Company, Cheese Bar, and Bistro. Hi, welcome in. Hi, we just tasted some great wine, but I think we need some cheese now. 100%. Awesome. A viewer named Kathy Tompkins suggested this place, one of only three dedicated cheese shops in all of Oregon, and the only one in this part of the state. And they also have sandwiches on the menu, thank you very much, and desserts, my goodness, save some for the show. Next stop. <laughs> It looks like a farm. It's actually a brewery on a farm. It's Wolves and People Farmhouse Brewery. Thanks for coming. Two, please. Viewer Kristen Miller described it perfectly. A lovely place to sit outside on a nice summer day. What's cool about this place, a lot of their ingredients are grown right here on the farm or somewhere nearby in Newburgh. Hey, Christian, are we a part of the wolf pack yet? Ow! Now, speaking of wolves, they don't have wolves here, but they do have other critters and animals. A viewer named Mary suggested this spot, a downtown Newburgh classic, Critter Cabana. You have license to take home one animal. Deal? Okay, okay deal. Ferret? No. How about a snake? Are you joking? You're joking. How about a guinea pig? You're getting close, sir. Where the heck is she doing? Oh, there you are. You found something. I did. Does it have a name? It does. Rod Hill Jr. Thank, Thank you, you Newberg. Newberg. Rodney Hill Jr. So uh, we ended there, Rod, with what uh, I would describe as light lifting. That was an easy assignment light at the end lifting. where I had to put China on my shoulders there. Yeah. Do you uh. recall? You're welcome. Oh, Do you recall, Rod, <laughs> the moment I tried to lift you on my shoulders? This was a oh, boy. back. We pulled this out of the archives. Um, yeah. Never successfully stood up that day. You should hear the actual audio. If you like, go to my Facebook page, you can actually <laughs> dig up this video. Oh, there it is. There's some audio. Uh, we were laughing so hard in this attempt to get Rod up on my shoulders and then walk around the studio. You know how many years ago that was now? That was like pre-COVID. Was like it? 2018. Oh, goodness. I was uh, what they call a bit bulky then. You know? <laughs> now I'm slightly bulky, but I, I was a bit that. bulky then. I told people to solid. <laughs> Just solid, Rod. A solid human being. I'm not commenting on that. Here's the uh, last thing we need to mention. The what to do with China and Drew segment needs your help. You can suggest places to go, although I will tell you we've already selected Ridgefield, Ridgefield. as Ridgefield. our next spot. Uh, you can also tell us what to do when we go wherever you send us, whether it's Ridgefield or somewhere else. Give us your ideas. 503-226-5088 is the text line, Rod. I heard yeah. that was the origination of uh, U-Haul. Oh, yeah. That, Ridgefield that is, is where U-Haul starts. Yeah. That's correct.